Hi, Pastor Steve. I will be doing 52 You Ponder That's based on the simple writings from the New City Catechism. Uh, there are our acknowledgments each week to show you that they have given permission to use their excellent little booklet. So I hope you enjoy this series. So stay tuned. Good morning, Pastor Steve. New City Catechism number 16, what is sin? Their answer is sin is rejecting or ignoring God in the world he created, rebelling against him by living without reference to him, not being or doing what he requires in his law, resulting in our death and the disintegration of all creation. Our problem is that in Adam all died. The first family voted God out and by their disobedience, then death passed upon all humanity. Romans 5.12, wherefore by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, so death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. In Genesis 5, we see that Adam brought forth the Son in his image and his likeness. We were all born dead to God. But in Jesus, we have the answer that he was born of God. He was not born spiritually dead. Hence, Paul could say in, in uh, Ephesians chapter 2, but God who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ. By grace you're saved. Jesus didn't come to make bad people good. He came to make dead people alive. Second Corinthians 5.17 says it. If anyone's in Christ, he's a new creation. And we get life with God, the ability to commune with him and to grow in love with him. So sin is uh, death and faith in Christ is life. Romans 5.17, for if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. So sin is rejecting or ignoring God in the world that he created. But when we receive the gift of he gives, we begin to grow and pay heed to the God of creation. Have you found life in Christ? You ponder that, Pastor Steve.